Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to you all. Today in the grade 8 for the subject physics we are going to start the new lesson from the chapter 37 that is electron beams. Here boys we are going to start the new lesson that is electron beams and we will be starting from the page 308. So let's open the book and see the page 308 where we are going to see what are the learning objectives of today's lesson. The today's lesson we are going to see about the electron beam and we are going to talk about how does the current flow and also we are going to see about the thermionic emission. So here we are going to see about this so let's start with the electron beam. So electron beam that is a stream of electrons generated by heat or the bombardment of charged atoms or particles or strong electric fields and also the electrons may be collimated by holes and slits and because they are electrically charged they may be deflected focused and energized by the electric and magnetic fields so electron beams are used cheaply in the research technology and medical therapy to produce x-rays and images on television screens oscilloscopes and electron microscope so this is all about the electron beam so now here we can see that when we can use a high voltage uh, instrument to a low voltage and we can also see that when we can uh, see the electrons when they are unheated what will be the condition of the electron and when they are heated what will be the uh, electron condition so here now in normal atoms orbiting electrons are held in a place by the force of attraction of the positive nucleus whereas the when some metals are heated to high temperatures the energy gained by the outermost electrons in high in uh, is enough to break free of the atom and we say that the electrons have been boiled off by thermionic emission. So here you can see that uh, the electrons how they are being moving out, how they are coming out of uh, uh, from the outermost electrons which are which is enough to break free of the atom. Now here also you can see the conditions where uh, the cold condition this is the metal and this is the vacuum we can say that uh, one electrode that is uh, we can say in the in case of the uh, cold condition one metal that we can uh, say that the metal plate is a uh, anode whereas the other electrode that is a filament that we are going to see in the next uh, figure where now here I just want to bring to your notice that in the cold conditions the electrons they are not having any kind of movement here and we can see the metal here and the vacuum here now in the hot condition what happens to the electrons in when they are in the hot condition they are going to uh, we are going to get here the uh, positive charge uh, due to missing of electrons that is the, uh, the here we are going to get the anode and the cathode here so here we can see here uh, current can flow only when the cathode is hot when it is hot then only the current can flow and we believe that the electrons are boiled off the hot cathode because at high temperature at high temperature they have a lot of energy and this process we call it as thermionic emission so here in the picture also we can see here the diagram where the 6 volt battery as the DC current is being placed here and also here we can see that the emitter is there electron beam is there glass tube is there and anode how does it work so now let's talk about the working of this so the negative electrons from the space charge near the cathode okay 
they are uh, the if the anode is positive the these uh, negative electrons are attracted across the we can say here the negative electrons the cathode is this is the cathode this is the anode and also we can say here the heated electrons which are uh, at the cathode use of the electrons from the cathode and they are moving towards the anode where there is a flow of current this is the 6 volt uh, battery here that is DC current and here is the high voltage current that is 300 volt also we can say that the when the current is flowing from here and there is a emitter here which is uh, giving you the deflection in the current so here electrons attracted by positive potential on anode this is the anode here so they are being attracted towards this and this is the vacuum here these are the free electrons they are moving towards the anode so here in short we can say that if the anode is positive these negative electrons are attracted across the gap and current flows if the anode is negative the negative electrons are repelled and no current flows this shows that electrons are negative and because of this the current can flow only one way through the uh, this diagram we can see that the current can flow in only one way not in the two ways because this uh, negative electrons they are going to be get attracted towards the anode so th this is what it is uh, called the diode value involved and here we can see this the movement of electron towards the one direction only so this is what in the another way we can say that this is a high voltage current is flowing from the emitter here and this is the anode this is an electron beam and the here is another 6 volt DC supply is being attached here. This is the filament or we can say the tungsten filament and this is the glass tube. So here with this we can say that there is a thermionic emission is happening in the electron when they are going to be heated. This 6 volt battery is going to heat the filament here and hence there is a movement of uh, electron and the this filament when it is being heated it is uh, heated and it is glowing here so with this we can say that the thermionic emission about the electron beam and all this I am going to conclude here the today's lesson I will be back with the new video for the further part of the lesson till then Thank you and goodbye.